Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's doing really well. Hope your school is going well online and that you're getting to play outside in the pretty weather. Uh, we miss you at church, but hope you're, you and your family are all doing really well. Um, in the next week, we're going to be hearing some different stories about what happens during Jesus' final week before his crucifixion. It's called Holy Week, and we're going to, I'll be, um, videoing several different stories, and I will let you know that when those are up there, we'll um, put it on the church website, and you can check and see when some of those stories are up. Um, but today, we're going to talk about Palm Sunday as we begin to celebrate the most wonderful holiday there is, which is our, our celebration of Easter. Easter is a time to remember but it's also a time to celebrate our risen King, Jesus. This coming Sunday, April 5th, is known as Palm Sunday. Um, I have my little donkey friend here to help, help us with our story because there's a, a, don a very important donkey in the story and some palm branches. You might even have some of these at your house. And, I, and later on, I'm going to show you how you can make some palm branches. Um, Palm Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week. It marks Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem um, on a donkey just days before he was crucified. You can find the story of the triumphal entry in all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If you want to look them up, it's in Matthew 21, Mark 11, Luke 19, and John 12. You can think of the triumphal entry as kind of like a parade, like we love to go to the um, Christmas parade and see all the, of the sights there where we watch and we wave at people and we clap. Well, that is very similar to what the triumphal entry was in Jesus' day. The people of Jerusalem were praising Jesus. And they were shouting, Hosanna, which means save us. And they laid down palm branches in their coats uh, as a sign of respect, people waved palm branches and um, had processions like this to honor royalty. And they recognized Jesus as, as their king. They had seen him do miracles. They had uh, listened to his teaching. And they were using this time to honor and to praise him. I'm going to tell you the story of Palm Sunday. And I want you to look at some pictures while I tell you the story. We'll get set up for that right now. Jesus and his friends traveled around a lot. One day, they turned up in a village just outside of the city of Jerusalem. This was a dangerous place to be because Jesus had lots of enemies there. Go to the next village, Jesus told two of his friends. You'll find a donkey there and her young colt. Bring them both back. The two friends were puzzled by Jesus' instructions, but they did exactly what he had said. They found the two donkeys and brought them back to Jesus. Jesus then said another surprising thing. I'm going to ride the young donkey. No one has ever ridden him before, one of the friends said. He will kick and jump, and you'll be tossed to the ground. It will be all right, Jesus said. I know what has to be done. I'm going to ride into Jerusalem. Jesus' friends gasped. They knew all about his enemies in the city. Don't go. They'll murder you. But Jesus wouldn't listen. So his friends found a coat and a rug and threw them over the back of the young donkey. Jesus climbed onto him, and the donkey set off towards Jerusalem. As they got closer to Jerusalem, they could hear excited voices and yells of laughter. They heard running feet, too. Here he comes! Quick! Help me snap off this branch. Hurry up or we'll miss him. Carpenters and shopkeepers, potters and shoemakers, bakers and housewives, boys and girls were all running to see Jesus. The young donkey plodded on very slowly. This gave everyone time to get their coats and rugs and throw them onto the road. They pulled down branches from the trees and spread them over the clothes. It made a colorful carpet fit for the king. Some people walked in front of Jesus. 
and some walked behind, and everyone was shouting and waving with joy. Hooray! Here comes the king! Praise God! Hooray! But a few people called out angrily, Stop all this shouting! Jesus shook his head gently and said, If I made these people stop shouting, the stones on the road would start hopping around with excitement. Since we can't be together for Palm Sunday, there's some really fun and great activities you can do as a family to help celebrate and remember Palm Sunday. I hope you will have a parade at your house. You could get some coats and lay them on the floor and, and some blankets and you could make a, a palm branch. I'm going to show you a couple ideas for how you could make a palm branch. Just find, if you have it, a, a green piece of paper. You can fold it in half and then just with your scissors make little cuts and you'll have a palm branch right there. If you don't have green paper, you could just do this with white paper and color it green if you wanted to. You can also take a, a popsicle stick, just a plain old popsicle stick and some strips of paper and I just taped these on there. You can use that to wave, um, to wave as a palm branch. Um, you might want to make a donkey paper plate out of paper plates. Um, just the things that you have there at your house. That might be a fun reminder of Palm Sunday. One other really fun thing at the end where it says um, that Jesus said the rocks would even cry out if the people were quiet and didn't praise him. So there's this really cute craft you can make, Hosanna Rocks. And just take a rock from your backyard and put some eyes on it or just color some eyes on and make a little banner that says Hosanna. And this one's really cute. This is just one little rock shouting Hosanna to recognize Jesus as King. Um, there are a couple really great websites, and I'm just going to put them here for you to, um, to have. MinistrySpark.com. Uh, it has some other activities for Palm Sunday. And Group.com slash free. Um, that one has a really neat video and also some other really great ideas. Um, I hope you will have a palm procession this Sunday with your, uh, with your family. Wave your branches high and, and give praise to Jesus. Uh, praise him for his love for us, for his giving his life for us. Remember, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen.